hello and welcome to the podcast um happy august this is a very big uh video video podcast episode um because i have news that um i mean it depends where you are but i'm i'm sure in most places the podcast episode will be up before the actual um announcement post and i can't stop being like vague about it but um i got married and i know what you're thinking from like previous um perception of my like presence and like my stance on marriage it's crazy i know um so yeah maria and i got married on the 5th of august uh five days ago when this will be uploaded um i'm recording like a couple days after our reception so <laughs> that's uh that's crazy um we we eloped we didn't like have a whole like big wedding like in a church or uh with the minister mainly because um i'm in the best way but i'm agnostic i feel like family wise like most of my family is like christian but i i'm agnostic um and maria maria just i mean i i think it was since we didn't want to have like a big thing and like doing things huge or just like not our thing like um i mean maria likes things a little downstate you're probably wondering why isn't she like co-hosting this episode with you well um i didn't want to put the pressure of that on her um and i know that uh you know she she wants to rest there or there's a lot going on i mean like if you consider you know we just got married there's uh like <laughs> there is so much to do since um so yeah we eloped at uh san francisco city hall um on the 5th of august at maybe like 8 a.m something like that i mean it was early because the thing about eloping at city hall is that you can exactly just do it whenever and like a, it also like depends it's, it's like a lot about booking a thing and honestly i have erased the organization part from my memory because it was a lot and um i'm just glad that it's over and i have a wife now and which means we can stop uh <laughs> making fun of the way that i say girl because sometimes it sounds like I'm grew from Despicable Me. Um, so yeah, timeline-wise, uh, Maria, uh, Maria proposed, which I know, like, I don't know, I, I think some people have this perception of, like, oh, in a lesbian or in a gay relationship, someone has to be the man. Um, and I think a lot of people are like, well, cat's the slightly more masculine one she must be the person who would propose but no um first of all uh gendering stereotype it's like which one of you wears the pants i we all wear pants like i i think that analogy is like weird um so yeah maria proposed in i want to say late september early october uh around when we were like between france and edinburgh um it it was like a i mean it was just the two of us because this was our europe trip um and it wasn't actually that long after i talked in that pride month vlog about how i (laughs) was skeptical about marrying um just you know 
marriage, being queer, um, Maria and her Crohn's disease. Um, we figured it out. And I'm, I know that we're like fortunate enough to be in a place where, um, my health care benefits my wife. Um, it's it's crazy. I mean, we kept it a secret mainly because I didn't want the like. I'm gonna use the very British word that my dad used. I didn't want to have like the hullabaloo. That sounds so stupid, and I'm sure that there's like I hope there's not some like controversial uh origin to that word anyway um that pride vlog from last uh june sure was deceptive curse because here i am a wife to a wife isn't that lovely though just like being able to have someone to call my wife i obviously am not going to be doing the Borat voice. So that'd be stupid. <laughs> um, yeah, so we eloped at uh, at City Hall. Uh, we were allowed to have two witnesses, and instead of bringing, like, a family member, which I'm sure probably would have been a more mature idea, um, Joan and Young were our witnesses. Uh, Joan, because obviously Joan's my best friend. Joan has been my friend since, uh, since we were children. Uh, and Su Young, because Maria and Su Young are quite close. Um, and yeah, I mean, it just felt nice to have like our close friends uh, with us. It it made us feel happy, and then we had a a big reception with our family. Um, pretty much the same day, and that's because we. I mean, we knew that it was going to be sometime this week. We didn't know it would be Monday. Uh, I do think. I mean, it did feel kind of stupid like yeah let's book the pub on monday but that's also because that was um oh yeah i think uh there were there are there, there, there's also going to be a little vlog that comes up at the same time as when i post the pictures um that will show you our uh our reception which was at a pub um my well, our friend Jaehyun, who is Su Young's brother, uh, he does bartending, um, because you know music doesn't pay all of his bills. He's not, <laughs> he's not in the big leagues yet. Um, and he works for for this pub that just so happened to have a free date on Monday the fifth, uh, which we booked. We booked the evening because we were like, well, it's more likely that, um. We'll get a time slot at City Hall in the morning, so then we can have the rest of the day, like, after the elopement to, uh, decorate the space, um, like, get everything organized. Um, so, I mean, that was what happened. Um, Maria wore a beautiful, uh, dress that was, um, luckily, I mean, we tried not to, like, make a huge expense, because the thing about weddings is that they're really expensive, um, which is another reason why we didn't want to have, like, a, a huge thing in a church or in, a, like, a big hall. And that's why our reception is more small in a pub, because, um, I'm saying a pub, not a bar, because if it had been a bar, it would have been a lot more difficult to be like, yeah, we want to have uh, a huge party with children, because, obviously... It, it wouldn't make sense to have a child-free wedding, considering my brother is... God, how old is he now? Hang on, I'm doing maths. He's, uh, he's nine years old. And then, obviously, my little sister, Chelsea, is 13. And Maria's little sister is 14. And so we were like, well, we have to go somewhere that's more like 
family friendly. And also I have like friends with kids and um Kelly, my older sister, uh my older half sister, has uh, a daughter too, my niece Bianca, and she's I think gosh, I wanna say seven. Maybe was she born in twenty seventeen? I don't remember. I'm a really good aunt. Um <laughs> So yeah, we wanted to go to a pub because we were like, that's more likely to be like, yeah, uh, we can, we can help. So Jaden hooked us up with the pub, um, let us hire it out for the evening, um, and then Celine, who is my friend Alyssa's girlfriend, she bakes. Um, and she made us eat these two beautiful, uh, wedding cakes. We wanted, well, we didn't want, like, something with fondant or too much frosting because, I mean, frosting really messes up my, uh, I'll just say I'm, I wouldn't have a, a fun time with my stomach after having too much frosting. So Celine made these uh these naked cakes. So it was just like cake, and then frosting, then cake, then frosting. And I mean they were tall, but it wasn't like an overload of frosting that would make you feel sick. Um and one of them was gluten free because obviously Maria is gluten intolerant. And um yeah, it just felt nice to have like the the option to have like, oh yeah, if you don't want the gluten-free cake there is a cake with gluten both of them were lactose-free though because of my dairy intolerance and for that i'm grateful because i know it's quite difficult to like uh accommodate baked goods or dietary restrictions um but obviously we trusted celine and celine's very talented and she decorated the cakes beautifully uh with uh, you know, fresh fruit and fresh flowers. So that was nice. Um, and yeah, it was just nice seeing, like, family and also friends um, from overseas that I've, you know, befriended via my Korean... I know how to speak my Korean doll Instagram. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I mean... It was nice. And especially, I mean, my mom was, you know, skeptical. She was like, oh, will that it ever happen that you actually get married? Considering, you know, I, I think I've always been cynical about it from like a young age. She said, tells stories about how like when I was six, I told my mom I would never get married. But then again, when I was six, I was like, I would never get married to a man. Uh, little did uh, six-year-old cat know back in 2006 that uh, she did actually get married to a woman and she's a great woman as well I love Maria with like all my heart <laughs> it's crazy that we we started dating in like April 2017 so we were 17 and 16 respectively um because I am god how uh I want to say no if I'm born in February, she's born in October. So eight months apart, so yeah. Um eight months apart in age. Crazy age gap. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. If you if I I mean and we've been friends for so long. And I think it's also my mom really loves it. It's like, oh, now my daughter in law is my best friend's actual daughter, and my best friend's daughter in law is my daughter, and she's like isn't that great? Um, yeah, because I mean, my mom and May Maria's mom are best friends, and like, if it weren't for our moms being best friends, we probably wouldn't have, you know, started seeing each other. Like, I would never have met Maria if my mom hadn't met May on a modeling shoot, however many years ago. So that's that's crazy. Um, outfit wise, for me, I know I literally just talked about Maria's stuff. Uh, I went on the tangent and I completely forgot. Um, Maria's dress, 
was from a dress shop um but luckily didn't have to do too much uh tailoring or uh, adjustments and it was uh i think it was i mean it was reduced because it was like oh the shop's uh getting rid of stock to like renew and they didn't want things going into landfill so like they reduced another prices and maria obviously fell in love with this dress my outfit was actually um thrifted i i try to get things that are second hand because i don't really like buying things first hand anymore I, I kind of fell out of love with a lot of current trends and that's why I love going around like Goodwills and thrift stores um looking for clothes because sometimes the things that other people don't want are things that I do want um the shoes that I wore um I thrifted back when we were in London that's fun and we are actually um we're we're going to London uh in about a week's time so not like a week a week from when I'm recording this and not a week from when I upload this because when I upload this it will be the 10th but I'm recording this on the 8th it's a long it's a long story anyway are we going on Thursday? I don't actually I need to double check because um our flights were like crazy delayed last year on our Europe trip. So uh we get comped with tickets because I complained. Call me Karen, am I right? Haha <laughs> God, I hate myself. Um so yeah, we're taking the opportunity to like we weren't gonna have like a honeymoon honeymoon, but it, it felt nice to like cash in those comped tickets in order to um you know have a trip where it's just the two of us um before we settle back into normalcy. Um and obviously Cheeto is gonna be staying with uh Suyoung again because Suyoung did such a good job taking care of our cat the last time. Um, and if you're wondering where Cheeto was on our wedding day, he, um, he did show up in the form of, uh, a picture that I had, uh, put in my pocket and therefore never got to see the light of day, but he was, he was technically there on our, on our big day I hate. To be fair, I just, considering I have... I mean, I, I I wouldn't know where my birth chart, but I feel like there's some Leo in me that's like, I want attention. Considering there is like a little part of me that like wants attention, there's a lot of me that doesn't. Um, so I'm glad that we kept it low key. And this is nothing against people who do love big blowout weddings. Uh, that's great for you that you can afford that. And if you can't afford that, uh, it's great for you that you've saved up for it so that you could. And I really respect that. But personally, um, we. <laughs> we were really going with like our network of friends to save as much money as possible like obviously um we still paid everyone like everything but there there was like a sneaky friends and family discount that i'm very grateful for and i would never you know exploit it um but it, it's good to have like connections this is why <laughs> this is why networking is good um so yeah we're probably going to be staying, like, I mean, I whenever we travel, it's like, we try and stay with family or, like, family friends as much as possible, which is why, um, like, when we went to France, we stayed with, well, not with Gabe's grandma, but, like, at Gabe's grandma's, uh, holiday home, and when we were, I don't know how to speak, and when we were in London, we stayed with Eliza, which was probably what we were going to be doing again this time, just because it's convenient, and then we didn't have to pay for a hotel, and especially because, I mean, it's not like we're going into Edinburgh because of the Fringe, but I know that London is also really popular and busy in the summer, and so, like, I'm glad that I can be, well, that, like, I can, I have friends that are willing to let us stay with them um 
Speaking of, Eliza did actually come to the wedding. I, I don't think she is any in any of the um pictures that Joan took, but that's just because Joan didn't want to ask people that she barely knew <laughs> they wanted her picture. Um and honestly, that's just how it is with Joan. They don't like confrontation and so they're like well i'm gonna stick with the american people i'm like well okay and how are my friends gonna get pictures from my wedding but um there's probably gonna be more like pulling in um i don't know if all of them are gonna be see here's the thing right Instagram has opened up in terms of terms of like you can post more than 10 pictures in a post i think it's like the maximum might be 20 now but I don't think I have that. So I'll probably have to like scour through all of our pictures. And um, Joan says that they'll share them with me tomorrow. Um, I'm sure that we have more than 10 and I'm going to have to like narrow it down, which is crazy. Um, so, but like you'll have seen them. You'll, you'll have seen what I've chosen uh, by the time you listen to this episode because I'll probably only promote it once i post the picture i mean it depends. hey if you're listening early good on you um but um hey, keep it to yourself until i post the pictures please uh because i mean it's it's crazy just like being like hey we got married i mean at least it's not like we got eloped and then announced it on april Fool's day because that i think would be silly um i would never do such a thing i would never mess with my audience in such a way um, but yeah. Now I'm like, I don't know what to say, because I, I still have so much time left to record. Um, yeah, it's crazy having been with Maria for so long. I want to say, how, how, how long has it been? It's been like seven years. Um, and it is crazy that this person that I've been with since high school. And I, I know, like, a lot of the time people are like, why are you going to marry your high school sweetheart? There are so many other fish in the sea. But I couldn't really picture myself marrying anyone else. Um, I never once have, like, pictured leaving Maria because I don't know who I am without her. Um. And I know, like, a lot of the time, that is why people, like, well, why don't you stay together? Or, like, why don't you leave if you don't know who you are without her to, like, find yourself? But, like, it's not that simple. This is someone who I, I genuinely feel, I mean, I'm not, again, I am very skeptical. I'm very cynical. Um, out of, you know, my online persona. Uh, but I don't think I would be happy with anyone else. And I am so glad that I have found a soulmate, if those even exist. If I, I mean, I have found a soulmate in Maria. And, God, <laughs> the, the tears are, like, welling up inside me because I am incredibly hormonal because of my menstrual cycle. Uh, I'm so glad it didn't start on my wedding day, though, because that would have been crazy. I'm so glad I'm, like, after. Cause imagine in white. Anyway, I'm sorry if you don't want me to talk about that. You know that I've always been incredibly oversharing. <laughs> it's literally in my bio. <laughs> You're a local 24-year-old oversharer. Um, yeah. It, it it's cra- it's lovely being with someone who understands me so much and who um gets you in such a way that um I don't think I would ever change it. I don't think I'd change it for the whole world who I'm with and uh I mean someone who supports me as much as she does and I mean obviously I support Maria as much as possible. Um and I hope that <laughs> you enjoy the little uh, wedding vlog and um, 
wedding video when that's the same thing the wedding vlog and the wedding pictures when they get uploaded because um it was it was a special day and uh i celebrated with, my, with a lot of my closest friends and my uh dearest family members um i know that my grandparents aren't in the pictures or in the video but they were there and i think they're really grateful that they got to see you know the, their grandchildren get married um i mean see we really thought that it would be kelly first because she is my oldest sister, older sister but um she didn't i mean she's a lot more cynical about marriage than i am but I, i'm glad that she was there as well and um if i had like a big thing with like a huge bridal party i know my sister probably would have been uh <laughs> in the bridal party um so yeah it's i feel very grateful i already said that um but yeah now i feel like we get to wind down um obviously there's a lot to do still um but otherwise uh i keep pausing and i'm like truly a lot of dead air that's like everyone's that in a podcast dead air <laughs> like how am i meant to breathe please give me give me time to breathe to inhale to exhale um so yeah i, I really should have written more notes when i was uh doing this because now i'm like trying to stall her time when i should just like finish the episode um i love your faces despite not being able to see them right now uh and you're not being able to see mine and i will like you will hear from me later we're still trying to adjust this and i'm sorry i never really wanted to have my dolls get married but then i was like it's just so cute and i i enjoy doing like sewing the outfits and coordinating the pictures and trying to handle all of the dolls in a frame and try not to get them to fall. Um, it, it's it's fun taking these pictures, and even though Kat says that they've been engaged since late September, early October, in reality, this was an idea I came up with a couple of months ago. Um, so yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, I could have researched more about things i i bet that would have been incredibly helpful people really want well researched law and backstories to their uh doll podcasts clearly um but even if i'm wildly inaccurate in terms of actual logistics for marriage at least I had a fun time dressing up my 12-inch plastic figurines. That are dolls. I just realised how very innuendo that sounded. <laughs> Do, I don't... Does it, all events aren't real and all characters aren't real and any resemblance to real people, blah, blah, blah. Um, I still hate the way that I have to record these episodes now because I don't understand uh the service riverside uh and i hope that editing this will be easier i also have no idea if like me fiddling with things on my desk is coming like up in the audio and like if you can hear my headphones hitting my keyboard and everything <laughs> anyway it was a lovely lovely episode to record and i um man i I did enjoy i hope you watched the video and i hope people actually listen to the podcast i hope you know i hope all is well i hope you're doing well i i i'm digging myself a hole (laughs) goodbye